All right, Ruben Tarangi, welcome to the South East Melbourne Phoenix, mate. It's uh, exciting to have you here. How are you feeling? Yeah, real excited. Um, can't wait to get there and get uh, get underway with the team, but um, awesome opportunity and I'm excited to come. And what was behind the, the call to uh, to join the Phoenix? Uh, definitely a new look, um, but also uh, knowing, knowing, knowing a bit of the staff and the the coaching staff and some of the players that are playing there um was a was a big factor yep so you've played with uh ken Gooden and adam gibson at brisbane i think and then you've had experience with Jud, uh, judd flavel our assistant coach at the tall blacks is anyone else you've you've played with or teamed up with before um no not i those are those are the people that i've um come in contact with uh playing with but um, definitely played against all, all the other guys and uh, playing against them is definitely definitely tough going against them. Um, Mitch Creek on on one hand, always, always taking it at you, you know. But um, played against Kyle Adnam in New Zealand and um, in the Australian League, so it'll be good. So the guys that uh, you already knew were they people that you spoke to regarding making the the call to join South East Melbourne? Yeah, def- definitely a few factors um, going into it, but um, talking closely with Jud- Juddy and um, Adam Gibson and um, those names, and de- also talking with my family, um, seeing seeing what they thought, and they thought it was the best fit for me. And for the people that don't know much about you over here, you're uh, a New Zealander, you played for the Tall Blacks. Can you just let everyone know a bit about your family background and where you grew up and played your basketball, etc. So, um, South Auckland boy, um, grew up grew up in South Auckland, uh, played four years at the Breakers, um, four years in Brisbane, and um, played for the Tall Blacks pretty, pretty much my whole career, so um, it's been a good journey and hopefully start a, start a new chapter with the uh, South, South East Melbourne Phoenix. And then on the court, what kind of strengths do you bring uh, as a player? Uh, versatility. Um, can play play a lot of those spots and guard a lot of different spots. Um, and then uh, a bit of leadership and um, things that, things in those areas as well. You have been around, as you said, for a while in the NBL. Do you think leadership and you've won two titles and I think three in the New Zealand NBL as well? you think kind of leadership and experience is something you will will bring now in this stage of uh, your career? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm still only 25, so um, it's, it's a hard thing for me to wrap my head around. But, yeah, I do think I do have some good experience and uh, been around the block a few times. But there's also the likes of Adam Gibson and uh, Mitch Creek that are there um, that have also done it for a very long time. So I'll be learning learning a lot of, a lot of things off them. Is it weird being kind of like an NBL veteran but being only 25, one of the younger guys on the team? Yeah, it is. It is weird. Um, yeah, sometimes you you think you think your age and um, sit back in the background, but um, sometimes you you got to take that front step and know that you've been in the league long enough to, to to have a voice. And then when you played the Phoenix last year, I'm sure it would have been uh, a couple of times for Brisbane. What were your impressions of uh, the whole the whole club set up when you played them? Yeah, well, definitely a team that could score. Um, they could put the ball in the hoop uh, very well. So um, that was that was that was the toughest thing about the team. But um, outside looking in, looked like a good organ- organization, and um, the team team unity always looked there. And um, Simon Mitchell definitely sounds like a good person from what I've heard, and and a great coach as well. In your conversations with. People like Simon and Judd. What uh, what do you expect your role to be in the team next year? Um, yeah, it's been um, talking closely with them. Um, they wanted wanted a defensive presence and um, someone that could guard multiple spots, and we can uh, get a bit of switching in there, you know, with uh, Mitch Creek and Cam Glidden and stuff like that. So. Um, and then hopefully a bit of shooting and um, getting, getting my head on the rim. So it'll be fun. Can we expect some, uh, some dunks? 
Duncan, I think that's that's gone out of my repertoire um, <laughs> since I've been in the league for a bit longer. But uh, no, yeah, I'm getting the legs under me and hopefully a few more dunks uh, this season to come. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a lot of praise around here. We're, we're looking for more more highlight slams. Uh, in the 2018-19 year, you were most improved player and sixth man of the year. Is that the kind of form you're hoping to recreate next season? Hopefully better. Um, always looking to build. Um, but that that is definitely the the standard and um, I want to build on that. So, um, yeah. And as a team, how far do you think we can go? Uh, obviously building more of our roster at the moment and you're the latest piece, but how uh, confident are you in the, in the club? Definitely have pieces to uh, win a championship, but um, I think it's the steps that we take on the way to get there. So uh, I'm not looking too far ahead, but um, the plan is definitely to win a championship. And just your current situation, you've just joined the Canterbury Rams in the New Zealand NBL, played a couple of games. What's your preparations looking like? It's, you're in a pretty lucky position. You can actually play basketball at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So over here in New Zealand, we're um, out of lockdown and whatnot. So we have a little league happening called the New Zealand NBL Showdown. Um, joined the Can- Canterbury Rams on Monday. Uh, but it's been good for my... Uh, progression through this off season, um, get the lungs under me and get the, get a feel for the game again. So um, it's been fun and uh, hopefully build, build a little bit more. And when do you plan to come over and join the team in the pre-season training? Um, dates haven't been locked in yet, so just waiting for um, some locked in dates and then I can look at uh, try, trying to get uh, an exemption to come through the borders and then um, we'll figure it out from there. Do you reckon Juddy's looking forward to having another Kiwi in the uh, in the heartland? Oh, I'm sure he is. He's uh, <laughs> he's already been telling me the areas around where he's living, so um, I'm close. <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah, it'd be good to be back with Juddy. Had two years with him down in Southam uh, in the New Zealand League, and uh, really enjoyed my time with him. Beautiful. Well, thanks very much for your time, Ruby. We'll uh, hopefully catch up soon when you in the heartland and we're really looking forward to having you on board. So congratulations, mate, and uh, welcome to the Phoenix. Awesome, thank you very much.